Hi, I'm Campbell Prince, and in this session we'll be looking at MVP, that's uh, Model View Presenter, uh, with the GWT uh, Web Development Framework. Uh, we'll be using the MVP demos uh, from MVP4G, that's a framework for MVP um, in GWT. So once we've got the downloads and we've, we'll, uh, sorry, once we've got the demo downloaded and we've got it set up in Eclipse, we wind up with these demos here. So we'll have a look at the mail with MVP4G. Now I'm assuming here that people are familiar with the model view presenter pattern. Uh, if not, I suggest that you have a look at the Google I.O. video from uh, Ray Ryan. Uh, there's a link to that on our website too. Okay, here we go. Let's first have a look and see what the demo actually does for you. This is this like classic GWT example. Um, a kind of relatively complex UI uh, with uh, representing as like a, a mail client. Uh, it's not too bad. It's a pretty good uh, demonstration of some of what GWT can do. So we'll be focusing just looking at this little view here and we'll be looking at some of the features of GWT that help us to do this. Okay, so let's go back to Eclipse. Okay, now here we can see an area that's dedicated to the views and an area that's dedicated to the presenter. And we'll notice here that the views are separated into two parts. There's the Java file that represents the code and each file has a matching um, UI.XML file uh, which represents an XML description of the widgets and uh, UI elements that form the view. Just open up the XML file, mail list view. We'll just focus on looking at the mail list view, that's that uh, list component that we saw. Now here's the XML and it's using the UI binder feature of GWT. Uh, there's some embedded styles, an image, and this is using a doc layout panel. It's worth noting that the um, the UI elements that have layout in it are for standards mode. So there's two widget sets going alongside of each other, the older non-standard style and the newer standard style. And you really kind of need to pick one or the other. So we're going with the standards mode, which seems to be um, uh, in gaining in popularity as browsers just get more and more standards compliant. Now we'll notice that we've got this design uh, tab here so we can go and have a look at this in design mode it will take a wee while to think about it certainly on my machine And here we are. Uh, this is the uh, element here. I'll just make a bit more space. Over there. So here you can see an emptyish looking table. The dock layout panel, it's north as the header here. And the main content is a scroll panel with another flex table inside it. Uh, flex table is the main building block for building grids in GWT these days. And here we can see um, a palette full of widgets that we can put on panels and you'll notice here that we do have things like there's a horizontal panel uh, then, or say for example there's a dock layout panel versus the dock panel the dock panel is deprecated and the dock layout panel is current and you see this has got an S inside it for the standards mode okay so we're using the standards mode one so we'll use a dock layout panel not the dock panel uh, if you mix them bad things can happen to your UI quite easily. Okay, so in the source here, um, it's attributed in the XML um, with UI field header, table, the styles, and a few other formatting attributes. The main thing to notice, this UI field here is how it gets hooked up uh, to the code. So if we go and look at its matching uh, code element, the Java class, here we go in the mail list view. Here we see these UI fields, header and table. 
and another one for the selection style. Uh, these attributes um, are used by the code generator uh, as it goes about generating the code that binds uh, the UI uh, XML file into your actual JavaScript. Um, in general, the at attributes are used by some sort of code generation, uh, similar to reflection in C Sharp, for those that are familiar with that. So now in code, we can use um, these bound elements just as if they were code. Uh, so we can use call methods on them. So here's initializing the table. Um, and we're just doing very view oriented stuff here, like selecting the row. Here's where we set text into the row. You'll notice that there's very, very little logic in this uh, in this class. It's all about the view, and that's exactly as it should be. This is the passive view. The view knows nothing. Uh, it just provides services to its presenter, which does all the presentation logic and hard work. That way, the view can be mocked in our unit tests. Uh, so that the presenter can be thoroughly tested. So to match this mail list view, we have the mail list presenter. And it ha has an interface for iMailListView. So you can imagine that the unit tests implement this differently. So if we look back here, we'll see that um, this mail list view implements the iMail list view here and provides all the services needed. And this is just simply the list of services here that, uh, or the list of method calls that this presenter needs to do its job. Okay. And I won't go through this in a whole heap of detail. Uh, we'll save that for another tutorial uh, where in another session I think we'll have a look at the uh, event bus 